All right, what's up everyone? Today is, what day is it today? Today is Friday and um, I'm just heading to a job site. I've got to get a couple of samples of the colors um, because the boys are going into a job tomorrow and nothing's going to be open. I'm just trying to save a bit of time. Also trying to look for some face masks like everyone else is to not much luck. So I'm going to take, for a, take a trip out. I'm going to take a trip out to Bunnings Warehouse, see if they've got any. Um, I'm just at the... Um, just at the car wash here. All clean, all clear. Save myself 30 bucks, because normally I get it done. And this job site that we're going to to get these color samples. I have a new carpenter working and he's putting skirting boards back in and he's hanging a door. So we're gonna catch up with him. He doesn't know we're coming. So we're gonna roll through with the camera hot. Hopefully we can get a bit of carpentry work on the channel. With him, I'm gonna keep him going as much as I can because we are really busy, but I have a feeling that it's all gonna just come to an end very, very soon. And I have all these jobs opened up, and this job that we're going to, the clients, they're staying in a hotel right now until we're done. So I've got this push to get it, and, and it's delayed as well, this job. The clients came in over the, um, all the floors got redone. The clients came in last weekend, they said, this. It's glossy, it's not meant to be glossy. It's meant to be a satin. And we were meant to get in there and redo our work, we'd be done by now. But um, the floor had to get sanded again and recoated with the correct finish that delayed everything. So at least it's not our fault. So then we started a new job and now we're gonna have to let that one sit to finish this one. And I just opened up a new job today so, so currently I got three guys working, two painters and uh, one carpenter and myself. And I probably need a, another plasterer. So if you're in the Gold Coast Brisbane area, what I'll do is I'll go and take samples now and then go to the paint shop, pick up the paint and then on the way in you can pick it up in the morning. Yeah. All right, cool. All right. Alright, alright man, talk soon. Yeah. Yeah. Bye. 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 One more thing guys, I don't know if you can hear it, but there's this creaking coming from one of the glass roofs back there. You hear that? It's actually a lot worse on a rough road. It's really bad, the noise coming from back there. I'm going to look at trying to get that fix so look I, uh, I I searched for it on YouTube and apparently I'm not the only one who has noise coming from the back of this it's a pretty cozy spot isn't it that's just resting on a tripod on the floor so we could probably have a good little good old chat right now couldn't we I hope everyone's out there staying safe I'm really sorry to all the people that aren't working and uh, may lose their jobs and going through some financial hardship not that I can do anything to help but actually I have um, I have just over a hundred dollars Amazon US credit I'm happy to share that we'll split it five ways I'll send twenty dollars a small item to the first five people um, that ask for an item I'll link in the description Hit the link in the description to Amazon, pick whatever you want out, and um, the first five people to click that link, uh, get it. I also got these bag of goodies right here, for the carpenter, some hinges and that sort of thing, for the door that he's putting on. So I'm going to give that to him. Got a 
take these color samples, we're going to head to the paint shop. I also have this device which I'm going to do a review on. Doing a review on that. It's a reverse right now. Yes, the camera is facing me. That's coming up. But I mean, the people who even want to see that stuff, I mean, people are losing their jobs. I also received a $200 voucher from Trade Tools as you'll hear in my other video so we're gonna go spend that I feel like other people feel like giving it away I know Ink Soz Mum from YouTube he's been following me for ages he hit me up for a hat ages ago and these hats are actually like 50 bucks a pop like I get them made like 10 at a time and the guy's really expensive but he's a local business so I support him and they're great great quality hat I want to get him down in price so I can maybe start selling them because they're cool but they get dirty real easy I have clean ones depends what I'm doing on the day but this is like my last cleanest one so I've got to stock up but he's probably not even working now so anyway you might remember a while ago I ran a competition to win these two tape measures I never actually gave them away because there was like we made some rule there's some guide of what to do on the next video and then I didn't do it I got caught up so here it is right here right now if you're still watching the question is this and you got to be a subscriber to win these two tape measures if you're in US I'm gonna send you US and Australia only sorry everyone else going to order from you uh, Amazon US okay I'll get you one but if you're in Australia I've already got these two tape measures the question to win these tape measures are how did I get my Pazload framer my Pazload framing gun I've mentioned it in one of my videos one of my last 10 videos if you uh, know the answer first two people to get it put the answer in get a tape measure one is better than the other so the first person will get the better tape measure the second person will get the second best one I still haven't taken them out of the wrapper so if you're in Australia I'm just gonna send them to you the ones that I got they're a little bit dusty and we have used it but we didn't we just pulled it out of its pack like we just pulled it out we didn't actually destroy the packaging Oh. Yeah, you gotta buy a full down light. You can't take the you can't take the globes out. Well, just send me a picture anyway, but I'm pretty sure. Yeah. If they're the same as mine, I can't change the globe. I gotta replace the whole thing. But even all the joints, you can see them because there's windows at the end of each hall, and you just see the walls look like like a zebra wallpaper. I gotta get the price to them to Savo, and I'm looking. It depend. It looks like what's what they've put in already are the metal ones. The Rondo ones, three meter Rondo. Ones. Joint. Yeah, and they're uh, they're like thirty three bucks. Whereas the Trimtex V joints um, are only in four hundred meters. Like 12, turn right onto Park bucks, Street. Or something like that. You got to keep it clean. You got to cover the smoke detectors. Turn right onto Proud Street. You know all the Yeah, well, no, I won't be painting it, but I will be going back to sand to make sure they're all good, and then walk away. Or 80. At least. Yeah, well, I'm just thinking of it as they're 2.7 ceilings. Meters, turn right onto now. So I was just gonna, like, I was thinking of how to do it real fast and just put a stick like a guide on the, um, on the wall and then cut up with my uh, Makita drywall cutter with connected to my vacuum. Just cut up the wall yeah. twice and pull out the 10 centimeter slither so the, so the, um, so the control joint can go in there. But I just don't know what they're worth. It is a work car, I'm working. <laughs> Dropping off materials. <laughs> Why well, hasn't what? No, all where they've got the control joints in now, they're all good. They're all good. So the cracking has stopped. Oh yeah, where they've put the control joints in, but there's all new ones now. 
Yeah, they're working. Hello, Poochie. Well, you'd have to be a couple hundred bucks a joint, wouldn't you? Well, that's what I'm thinking, eh? I'm going to be charging for the roof for it. We'll pay, yeah. They're pro prices. Oh, a bit of kick on that. Yeah. Got a bit of kick on it. So, are you going to tell me that uh, your YouTube efforts. Do you want to be on the camera? Car? Nah, <laughs> actually, my on the job efforts. Yeah. Beautiful car. Yeah, it is. Company car. Oh yeah, it's all. No, well, actually, I just uh, the other day I delivered a spray gun to a job in that car. I just delivered you some hinges, and uh, as well, I'm going to need expenses. And there's a the friggin' expense. See, accountant. Look where we are. Go, 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 count. <laughs> I'm going to have a search through my car. We've had a bit of a bad luck because mm -hmm. I've just looked at the you know, little bag of stuff here. Because what I did was, um, you know, at that door, I just took this keeper. Mm -hmm. Let's see how it's. I took it off there. I have to come in here in the morning and do some touch, like touch up all of this stuff. The guys are coming in the morning in to paint. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Sweet, you got all this back on. That's good, man. This is back in. That's good. Yeah, I just bit of plastering that. there. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna be in here in the morning. Does that one work? Then just well, leave that one. Well, yeah, but what I just like as I said, I took that. I just walked. Yeah, I needed a keeper to check it all in. Yeah. Pretty good, mate. That's what I need to be able to do, you know? If yeah. we had some time, you got to teach me how to do it all properly. Well, you need one of those little routers. Yeah, set it up and just go like that, eh? Yeah, well, I just... Some people use a jig, but I just free... Use, free. A, use a Stanley knife, eh, and cut it out and then chisel, eh? Well, no, other than the... No, the route, like a, a router. Yep. Um, and, zzz, and just hone it all out so because it's impossible to sort of neatly yeah. chisel a curve yeah um, but yeah I'm kicking myself because so as I said I just went and took this keeper off that door and chiseled it into that door yeah and it was a different one. And then I'll just, and then so, and I'll just turn around, looked over here, and gone, shit. Oh, well, they've done different ones. <laughs> the odd one out, and I took that off. Yeah. Thinking that, oh yeah. Yeah. And so, obviously, I should have looked around. But... <laughs> yeah, no, no, I do that shit all the time. I actually, I had a hole to cut to put a timber stud in behind a bathroom. And I thought, yeah, it's about there. I cut a hole and it was in the wrong spot. I had to move it over. And I filmed it. And then fuck, <laughs> this dude is just like crucifying me to a cross. Because I didn't fucking think in hindsight. All right, so yeah, we're going to just try and like paint all of this tomorrow. Come through, come through there as far as we can back that way. Then we can tell them, look, move back in. We're all done out here. So if we just focus on the walls and paint the skirts, then we'll head down this way. Yep. And then eventually they're gonna get replaced, but I don't reckon we even, I don't think they've allowed enough for that. I'm gonna tell them, I haven't told them, but I'm gonna tell them. I should have, after all of this work, had a sample already. I'll just cut a square out. And then mm, there you go, eh? and then take that down to the paint shop. Looks like my old one, <laughs> but I didn't know you then. Oh, Pazzy, mine's a bit broken up. Oh. My battery's fallen to bits. Oh, fucking hell, it has loads. So, I mean, oh. 
yeah, that's what, I went back to the Sunshine Coast and I had that's my second one. Uh, I managed to get it going, but they're always breaking down. They use, don't use um, gas because yeah, obviously the nails and everything are quite expensive, and the gas. And I think Makita makes one. Uh, and they just, yeah, in fact, you plug your battery. They take the same batteries yeah. as your drills and everything. Oh, yeah, I got a um, AEG electric one. Oh, yeah, yeah. No yeah. gas. But I got a pass load as well, and I got a pass load framer. All right, that stop is done. I got a sample. I checked everything out, all the carpentry work and skirting boards will be done, a few little things, um, plaster work, I am coming in first thing in the morning, Saturday morning with the boys, we're doing some painting, but I have to fix up that plaster work, Kurt, you didn't put enough top coat plaster on and you sanded back too far in some areas I think, so the finish of that is pretty shit, so I'm going to have to go and skim a fair bit of that, so that's not good, and now all I got to do is I got to go pick up some paint, get the paint match to pick up some wall color some gloss color for the skirting boards and architraves carefully transport it in the back without it tipping over and going everywhere that would be bad that would if it did spill out everywhere and there'd be no doubt that this is a work related vehicle next stop paint shop